Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Psalm 119, verses 107 to 108. And it reads, I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, I pray, the free will offering of my mouth. O Lord, and teach me your righteous judgment. I repeat, I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, I pray, the free will offering of my mouth. O Lord, and teach me your righteous judgment. Now, I want to divide the scripture into five parts. And the first part says, I am afflicted very much. Now, this was the psalmist none speaking about his situation he says i am afflicted very much and if you remember in the bible the bible speaks about affliction in nahum 1 verse 9 he says he says um what can you do against the lord he will bring an utter end affliction will not rise up the second time so here he says i'm afflicted very much And here he's saying to God, he's saying, God, revive me, O Lord, according to your word. So here, um, the psalmist known is saying, revive me. The key word here is revive. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. So first and foremost, he understands that there is a problem. His problem is, is being afflicted. He's crying out to God to revive him. He's crying out to God to restore him. He's crying out to God to help him regain his life. He's crying out to God for a refreshment, for a revitalization. He's crying out to God to reinvigorate him, to resuscitate him, to rejuvenate him. He's crying out to God to regenerate him in every way you want to look at it. He's crying out to God to come back to a state he was, he was before, before he got afflicted, and even a better state. So he said, revive me, O Lord, according to your word. So for that revival to take place, for that rejuvenation, to take that restoration, and his regaining of his life to take place, he needs the word. He needs the word of God. That means he said, revive me, O God, through your word, because your word is God. Your word is you. So use your word to revive. So he speaks about a renewal of the heart, renewal of the mind also. He says, revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Then the third bit says, accept, I pray. Accept, I pray, the free will offering of my mouth. Accept, I pray, the free will offering. So here is a plea unto God to accept his prayers, the free will offering of his mouth, the free will offering of his mouth are prayers, the free will offering of his mouth is uh, is the choice of praying to God or going the other way, the choice of choosing between pos- the positivity of the free will confession of the mouth and the negativity of the free will confession of the mouth. The positivity is doing the things of God, having a choice to go um, with God and praying to God and and um, giving your precepts and your statutes to uh, following after the precepts and statutes of God and giving your supplications and your prayers to God and also on the other path the free will of going the negative way of going after other gods of going after the things that do not glorify God so he said accept I pray the free will offering of my mouth so that free will offering our confessions bring about our possessions our confessions to god bring about our possessions of the things of the lord our confessions to the other way bring about the our possession of the things of the devil the things of other gods so here i said i pray the free will offering of my mouth the free will offering of your mouth it could be prayers the free will offering of your mouth could be exaltation the free will offering of your mouth could be praises oh i accept i pray the free will offering of my mouth oh lord and teach me your judgment so here is a complete and total plea to god he said oh lord and teach me your judgment that means teach me your ways teach me your precepts 
teach me your status, teach me the commandments, teach me how to go about it. That in total, I'm in total surrender to you. Teach me on how to how to um manifest myself. Teach me on how to make myself as a child. Teach me on how to live right. Teach me on how to go about the things you have written. Teach me about to go about the laws that you have portrayed that we follow after. Teach me how to walk in your light. Teach me how to walk in your path. Teach me how to go about everything that involves you in my life. Teach me how to do your will. Teach me how to live that God-given destiny you have given unto me and help me to go through and through that ultimately that I may be able to make heaven and see you and the judgment in heaven will be in my favor because you have made me, because you have given me this life that I will come and lead it according to your will. Now I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word. That everywhere we are being afflicted, that the afflicted affliction will not rise up the second time in our lives in the name of Jesus. I pray for a revival in our lives. I pray that God rege- regenerates our life, that God revitalizes our life, God refreshes us, God reinvigorates us, God resuscitates us, restores us in every situation we are going through. I pray that God is able to give us that ways and teach us that ways to follow the best follow after him to lead a life live the god-given life the life of perfection all this i ask through jesus christ our lord i thank you so much for listening and god bless god bless in jesus name amen amen